Uh, I, I thought you mixed those punches up pretty well, Tony. You didn't you didn't go wild to the head. You threw some good no, shots to the body. Pretty close, same. Yeah. Pretty close that way. Right, let's go back uh, on an instant replay in slow motion and, and take a look at the KO. I'd like to get your comments. Both of you come in now. We're reliving history here in the way it was. This is New Jersey, 48, and the dramatic wind-up of this middleweight title fight. Let's go, Rocky. All right. I was looking to bang him up, and, uh, of course, I see... He was in pretty good shape then. Ooh. I got hurt right there. Right there, I got real hurt. And that was, that was, but I looked the fight back, you know, like I told you, we were trying to bang each other out, and I never wanted to stop it. I was in fairly decent shape there. They hit me a couple of good bangs over there that, that uh, you don't see your arms. Seems <laughs> to be that left hook, buddy, like, you're doing oh, the damage. Yeah, and I, and, uh, you know, as a little Italian, I should have done something different. I should have said, I have a gun in the ring with me. Tony, but, I, I notice you don't waste many punches. I was just hoping I have to get them out of the way because of the... That's the thing, Tony. I didn't have to before, and they didn't look out to me to my mind, so I had to make sure they didn't get it. I never should have done that to you. I, 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 I was who, who, that, who is that? No, that, that, that <laughs> I was so dazed over there. Uh, you mean you shouldn't have gotten out of it? No, but I was, I put him up on a rope yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was, all, I was out. Uh, yeah. Looked like to me they the should have ended the fight there. The, the yeah, I, I thought have, that was a brave referee, the, didn't I, you? I think that referee, that, that referee should have stopped the fight. I think he should have stopped it. Uh, but take a look at that. Look at a nice quick look at the Titan kid like that. He nice shouldn't have got like that. What are you hitting a guy like that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but we tried, Tony. We but fought the way we didn't give the people what they wanted to see. And, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, my God. See, that's why I got a concussion right over there. Is that right? I went to Chicago Hospital. Tony, you were 34 years old. You were a two and a half to one underdog. 35. 35. 35 years old. Is this the greatest thrill you got out of boxing? I was 35, May 29th, before June, uh, June 9th, the following month. This is your greatest thrill in boxing, this fight? Yeah. Is this your best drill? It was because of the fact oh, that we were able to gain a title, which had never been done for many years before. Oh, so it was a quite times, you know? in that regard. I thought that I achieved something worthwhile all the more because I regained my title. Mm. Also, being the second one in history to do that. Everybody's demanding a fourth fight, Don. They didn't fight. What happened? I don't think Rocky demanded a fourth fight, did you, Rocky? I don't want to fight him. <laughs> 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 oh, <all right. laughs> that was it, huh? but it was. I, th I tell you, this guy keeps in shape now. He still trains. He he never wanna... done anything wrong. I, I want to ask one I question, just, I Rocky. Say, I want to stay young. That's why, Rocky. I want to ask one question. You fought Zale and you fought Ray Robinson. Right. What would happen if Zale, at his best, fought Robinson? I don't know best? why he didn't fight uh, uh, Robinson because this here guy. Couldn't lick Robinson because think so? he was a good body puncher, tough guy, and he, we, we, I think that the that would have been a Tony, great fight. I think it would have been a great fight. In my opinion, I fought Rob, Rob Robinson I, and I fought Tony. In my opinion, I think that Tony Zell would have licked him. I Thank really you, I listen. Mean what about you, Tony? Do you think you could have beat Ray Robinson? In 1949, yeah, or uh, 1932, I think. I had, you see, when I when I when I fought, fought, I had a very bad right arm. Elbow was gone. He didn't know it's a good thing he didn't know it. No, she told me. Elbow was gone. Why you tell me? I should have told after. <laughs> anyway, it was gone. Uh, I uh, had the arm operated on in '49. I got service. I mean, I got a quick boxing. I had five punches. Put out the elbow. I had a terrific pain. The doctor told me if I had a little longer, I may have lost the arm. So I had the operation. Everything else. Uh, in '52, I was in good shape. Training and everything else, working with the boys and, and coaching and all. And uh, Jerry Lewis, the movie star, came to Chicago, called me up. We had a talk. He asked me, Tony, would you fight Ray Robinson? I said, gladly. I had always wanted to fight before in the first place. He said, okay, that's all I want to know. So he called Robinson and offered me $300,000, he told me. No go. Hmm. And uh, well, uh, back uh, then, the, uh, I had a boy boxing on Robinson's card in Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, this boy, I don't, I don't remember, he lost if I won the fight, but anyway, well, I was passing by Ray Robinson in his uh, outfit, and he said, hey, Tony, I said, yeah, Ray. He says, you know, they all want to fight you. They offered me a lot of money. I want to party with a new better, he said. That's nice. I made that many yeah, dollars. That was a great I would have, I would have, I would have made that many dollars. Yeah. But there you are.
We want to thank the Man of Steel, Tony Zale, the Rockabye Baby, Rocky Graziano, and Don Dumpy for his fight calling. And so it was that 26-year-old Rocky Graziano would have to wait for another shot to regain his cherished title. During the next four years, Rocky would win all of his 22 fights, 19 of them by knockouts. And only then did he get another shot at the crown when he fought Sugar Ray Robinson. He had Robinson on the canvas only to once again see the title slip away from him. Rocky Graziano will always be remembered as one of the toughest, best fighters of all time. As for Tony Zale, that night in 48, he became the first middleweight since Stanley Ketchell to regain the crown. He retired from the ring a year later, also to become a ring legend. And he was elected to Boxing's Hall of Fame in 1958. And on August 4th, 1976, a congressional commendation was presented to Tony Zale for his contribution to the youth of America. A portrait of Tony Zale, a great champion, was read into the congressional record by Congressman Ferry. This is Kurt Gowdy saying, that's the way it was when Tony Zale and Rocky Graziano treated America to the most thrilling, savage, middleweight championship series ever fought. <laughs> This program has been made possible by a grant from the Mobile Oil Corporation. This program is made possible by a grant from the Mobile Oil Corporation.